so Mandy doesn't know this, but at the end of the video, she's going to be doing a giveaway. So keep watching until the end of this video. And she doesn't know. I'm going to surprise her. Oh, Mandy Energy. You look very suspicious, Phil. Don't you mean super Phil? Super Phil, but you look very suspicious. Okay, Mandy Energy. Why are you looking at me like this? Because we're going to be doing a video about recent Eurobeat. About recent Eurobeat? And who's been making lots of recent Eurobeat? Mr. Rogers. Mr. Giancarlo Pasquini? Giancarlo Pasquini. This guy. <laughs> D. Rogers. So we are going to be discussing a few D. Rogers songs today that have recently dropped. Recently dropped. Eurobeat. Drop the mic, it's Eurobeat in 2019. He, went, he visited the big disco ball of Eurobeat and he pulled out some new songs for us. Yay! Yay! Well, some new songs, some remakes, and some not quite Eurobeat. But we're just going to be focusing on some of the most recent Eurobeat songs that have come out that we've enjoyed. Yes. Yes. Hi. Dance Across the Nations. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 dance across the nations, bye, 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 bye. bye. share, mm -hmm. da, da, don't remember. Is it a good vibration? Something like that. This is a really good dance. <laughs> Eurobeat songs, Dave Rogers. Dave Rogers has recently created his own music label called Dave Rogers Music. It has the most beautiful logo from... 1998. from the past. So he went Sphere. into the disco ball and he pulled out the logo. The logo. Which one of us is holding the logo, Phil? It's like a ball. <laughs> the logo <laughs> is a ball of Dave Rogers music and encompassing in this ball is 30 plus years of production. So DRM label. Wow, he's been doing this a long time. Yeah, really is, is important and magical to the Eurobeat community. Dave Rogers is the godfather of Eurobeat. The godfather, the king, the landlord of your the landlord <laughs> i was trying to think of like people in like high position <laughs> the landlord <laughs> why do you think dave rogers has been remaking some of these tracks why doesn't he just release the version he did in the 90s or the early 2000s or what have you well the fact of the matter is part of the reason we're making this video is to be informative right phil correct and dave rogers is making or remaking these songs because he wants to capitalize for good reason yeah on Eurobeat as a meme on Eurobeat as a music genre Eurobeat as becoming viral online and he's associating his name as closely as he possibly can to all Eurobeat tracks hence why there's a Dave Rogers running in the 90s I'm sure there will eventually be a night of fire I hope so actually <laughs> this the, here you go Pete Sinclair money 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 let me sing let me sing I didn't know where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> He's creating some, or recreating some really awesome songs from songs that he's done in the past, songs that other people have done in the past. We think to capitalize on the Eurobeat phenomenon hitting the internet, going viral and all, but... Which we embrace. We embrace, please. Please. Redo everything. <laughs> <laughs> Make money. Make it. Like, Remake I will pay. <laughs> we have paid. We have paid. And we, we will paid. continue to pay. And she's paying. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? So Dave Rogers has been dropping a lot of remakes recently. And so we want to start talking about some of the songs Dave Rogers has been remaking in the past week or two. We're going to go over just a couple of songs that are listed on his band camp that have recently hit. We're not doing really specific. We're just talking kind of loosely about his tracks yeah, and, and that they exist. And then maybe you want to go buy them. And, and they're rating. And, and they're rating, but I want to state in the utmost clarity, this video is not sponsored by Dave Rogers oh, or not. by any Eurobeat person. No. This is just us wanting more Eurobeat. And wanting to talk about new releases and get you guys engaged and listen to Eurobeat. And support the Eurobeats. And support. I like the Eurobeats. I love the Eurobeats. I you only like, I love. I, I live for the beat of the Eurobeats. <laughs> Well, I love, <laughs> love. <laughs> you don't have boobs, it doesn't work. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to pick a couple of songs just to talk about today. And Phil, the first song I want to talk about is his remake of Gas, Gas, Gas. gas, gas, gas. The 
came out about a week and a half or two weeks ago now that we're filming this. Sure. So what are your thoughts on the Gas, Gas, Gas 2020 Dave Rogers version? So Gas, Gas, Gas is a song produced by Domino and Sandra Oliva. So <laughs> I will say that I really, really enjoy this cover of the song. I'm just disappointed that he assumes we already like his car. I know. I'd like to be asked. I would like to be asked too. And I would like to know the make and model at least so I can form an opinion. I have a big issue with, in the beginning of the song, the edit of ass, ass, ass not being included. That's always been one of my favorite parts of this song. Gas, Gas, Gas 2020 by Dave Rogers. I would give it a four to five just based on the fact that he assumed we already like his car when we don't know anything about it. Yeah, that's fair. I would like to introduce the next song. I will never guess what that is. The song that I want to talk about is Music for the People by Dave Rogers featuring Domino and Kyle. Tonight is the night. Domino and Kayo. Domino and Kayo. Domino and Dave, Kayo. Dave, Domino got together and made Kayo, and then they all got together and redid Music for the People. Music for the People is about having lots of fun and going crazy. And <laughs> Dave I, Rogers wants to take you in his arms tonight. That's true. Yes. This is a this is a great remake of the song, but mm -hmm. a part of my ear tells me that a part only part a, a of part of my this only part, part this back part okay right here, the, this part the Eurobeat part. Of my ear. Oh, the Euro <laughs> yeah. There's Eurobeat anatomy now. Yep, yeah, the Eurobeat bone that vibrates. What the f tells me that the domino vocals may be from the original music of the people. I think Phil may be right, because I actually thought something similar potentially. Yeah. Yeah, but you have the more trained domino. Yeah, ear. apparently. Like these are trained ears. <laughs> they are domino. trained ears. And and also Michael Jackson's guitarist is nowhere to be found in this version. Where is Jennifer Batten? Where is Jennifer Batten? Is she busy? Does she get lost? Is she, like, not in Italy anymore? I know! Jennifer. <laughs> oh, Jennifer! <laughs> Where did Jennifer go, Mandy? Tell me! Please, I need to know. I really do. She's been replaced by Domino. Oh, okay. That's okay. Hey, in this version, Domino is... Honestly, doing pretty much backup vocals, like she yeah. did in the original. Yeah. I mean, let, let's just shoot straight, okay? Yeah. And Kayo, you can hear him randomly throughout the song, kind of um, filling in gaps where Dave's voice is not. Yeah. That's pretty much the definition of filling in gaps. Yeah. My, my only thing is if it was a featuring credit, I would like to hear their vocals more pronounced in the song. But it is a Dave Rogers song originally, so I get it, and I appreciate it, so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm just happy to have a Domino song, even though it's, you know, thank you, thank you, Dave. <laughs> yes. Even please, please bring her back in. We want more Domino. We want more Merca. Sunshine in your eyes, 2020. Make it happen. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when do you write music for people? Oh, it's hard for me to to pick a fair unbiased rating for this but it has to be like 10 out of 5. <laughs> okay. Well thank god it's not 100 out of 5. Oh now it is. I think it's good. I like it. I really love the original. Music for the People by Dave Rogers, the original version, is one of my favorite Dave Rogers songs. And I don't know, I'm at like a 4.5 okay. out of 5. That's much lower than 100 out of 5. Yeah. Yeah, I'm more bass <laughs> than you are. Yeah. But it's great. It's a really good remake. I'm happy they chose to do music for the people, and I'm happy he involved Domino and Kayo. In any capacity. In any capacity. Like, more. Please. Please. Music for the, the people, people having lots of fun and going crazy. <laughs> like, we've already gone crazy. <laughs> a long time ago. I would like to talk about Soul Gasoline, which dropped just a couple of days ago. Oh my gosh. I love Soul Gasoline so much. That's all you need?
Okay, is this is this 2020 version two? Yes! Good. I love perfect vision. 2020 vision. <laughs> I love Barbara Walters. There. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> what? <laughs> So when was Soul Gasoline originally released? Oh jeez, it was like 1990? 1991? Wow. It was a long time ago. And honestly, the new version, it's pretty comparable to the original. Yeah, Other I than so not, too. Other than the original was definitely more high energy or Italo kind of angle because it was early Eurobeat, obviously. This is more aggressive synthesizers. It's more the the status standard quo, I would say, that Dave is proceeding with yeah. right now in Eurobeat. Yeah, the, his label sound, I think. Yeah, that's a good definition. It's kind of what he's doing with DRM. I would give Soul Gasoline 4 to 5. I agree. That's actually exactly where I sit. Because it's like, I would I would put this on over the original if I didn't want really? to listen to a Tylo disco sound. Soul Gasoline. The next song we want to talk about that was recently released is a cover of a Dima song by an artist who recently performed in Japan, Nuage. Well, that's the name of that song. The song that Dave Rogers uploaded to his band camp is Nuage Help Me. He's not asking Nuage to help him with it. Yeah, no, like, like you don't need to help her. You don't need to help him. It's fine. The song's called Help Me. It was originally sung by David Dima. It's on Initial D. Yeah. I know that for a fact because I looked it up earlier. Which is why Dave Rogers remade it. Which is why... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> which is... Which... <laughs> That Which is why Dave Rogers remade it. I have a bias for female Eurobeat singers, as you, you know. Do. You do. But I, I really think Nuage's. I. That, <laughs> Can I you speak in English. No. <laughs> I really think that Nuage's voice sounds great on this cover. I do too. Yeah. You know, I as you know, I have an inkling more toward male vocal Eurobeat. Yes. And the really aggressive male vocal Eurobeat in particular. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, Nuage's voice on this sounds really nice. I love the production <laughs> quality of David Dima's version mm -hmm. over DRM version. Mm -hmm. But I like the vocal stylings used on the DRM version rather than the original version. So what you're saying is that you like the production of the original, but you like the vocals of Nuage better. Yeah. And if... Somebody who knows how to do music stuff can make a mix or merge those two songs together. Link it to her. And what would you rate Help Me by Nuage? I actually really enjoyed the song and I would give it a 5 out of 5. Okay. I gave Help Me by David Dima 5 out of 5. So this is like a glowing 5 out of 5 because it has Nuage in it. Okay, okay. I'd say it's a 4 out of 5. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Like, I like it. It's a nice song, but not a 5 out of 5. It me. ain't Sunday. It ain't Sunday. It ain't Sunday. It ain't no Sunday. It ain't no Sunday. It ain't no fill in a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and the last song we will discuss today dropped, I say, about a week ago now. About a week? But I have been anticipating this for several months. Oh, as have I. Yes. We, I think we both are, have been aware of this and anticipating this for a while. It's, a, it's been anticipation station over here. Anticipation <laughs> station? Yeah. 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 I remember that from 99. Yeah, like it's... Yeah. Tonight we're gonna party like it's 1999. But we're not going back to that time. We're gonna be going back to this time in the 70s. Because we really got you, my lover. So 70s was covered again by twice twice actually twice yeah <laughs> by Chris and the Space Girls and covered again by Dave Rogers but that one's just going to be put aside and we'll talk about Chris version. Chris Dave Rogers Space already Girls. covered it back in the 90s on his Take Me Higher album. So, so it's like Dave Rogers covered Dave Rogers covered Dave Rogers at this point. But hey, you know what? Might as well just 
put out as many versions if you're gonna if you have two vocal tracks. Did you the just same tell song. Dave Rogers to put out? Yeah. Dave Rogers should <laughs> put out for us. <laughs> he should put out all the time. <laughs> also, it sounds like they took the beginning of the King Queen version and stuck it at the beginning of the remake of 70s. For Chris and the Space Girls, that Eurobeat bone in my ear again. <laughs> they filmed a video for this cover of 70s in the Netherlands yes! a couple months ago, and Dave Rogers is in the video. Chris was in the video, and she's the, the, the main lady in the middle, and then the Space Girls, and I'm so sorry I don't know their names, but they're so beautiful, and then they're dancing para para in the back, and then all of a sudden they go all like kung fu gun, <laughs> like the 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 brunette haired lady has like the cool like gun on her arms, and then they find Dave Rogers, and then they it's like we're about to have a nerf war in the Netherlands. Yeah, yes! a para para nerf, nerf war, war. <laughs> and then they bring them to a bar where everybody's club. is it a club? It's a club. Oh, it looks like a bar. <laughs> They, it's a club, and they take them to a club, and then they're para para dancing 70s, and then they like, they stop para para dancing, and they go out and look for him, and they, they come hunt, back. They hunt Dave Rogers. Dave Rogers got hunted. He's being hunted. He's being hunted. They found him, and they brought him to para para. At, at like, gunpoint. Gun <laughs> and gunpoint. And, and like Raphael Ninja Turtle stick pointy thing gunpoint, except it's not a gun, it's weapon point, and... Jimmy was there. Jimmy, was, Jimmy there, was there, and he's just like Dave, Dave Rogers? Rogers. Dave Rogers. That's the best part. That's the best part. <laughs> and then do 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 do. I do want to say that the most definitive version of '70s you can find on Super Hero Beat Volume 69 oh, by King and Queen. Oh shut up! <laughs> the most that is the definitive definitive version of '70s. Thank you so much, Chris and the Space Girls, for your cover, but the King and Queen version with Domino's vocals will reign supreme. No, you are filled with lies, and this is my channel, so I just can, like, put a beep over you for all I care. I'm gonna put a beep over <laughs> you in a minute. <laughs> the Mega Energy Man 1994-70s Was is the, the demo to King and Queen. Is no! Yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is the superior version. Superior. But you know what? No. King and I, Queen, I will not King and Queen 70s atrocities. was on Super Euro Week Volume 69. So what are you nice? <laughs> the Mega Energy Man version of 70s is the definitive one. Domino is in that version too. Yeah, I know. Well, we'll agree to disagree. Because <laughs> what they did, they heard the song and was like, oh, you know what? This is a great song, but there's like this guy singing and it's getting in the way of the this background guy vocal. That's, this guy <laughs> that's, that's incredibly quite... <laughs> talented, that has an amazing voice. This man. Dave. Dave. Giancarlo Pasquini. Do you want story time about Dave Rogers? When I flew to Italy, I took a flight from where I live to England first. And the pilot of that trip was Dave Rogers. His name was Dave Rogers. And the pilot was the hero? He was the hero. But I just thought like how ironic that was that I was flying to Italy and the pilot was Dave called Dave Rogers. <laughs> so if you want these releases, you can also get them on Bandcamp or you can enter Mandy Energy's giveaway. Oh, She's going to be giving away a few Bandcamp coupons or whatever they're called. So you can get one of these songs or one of the songs he's released on his Bandcamp recently. So we can spread the love, spread the joy, spread the Eurobeat, give away Mandy Energy, tell them what they have to do. <laughs> so we talked about five or six songs here today. I think five songs, right? Those five yeah. songs? Yeah. No, it was... Well, we're not good at math. I count slowly, slowly, slowly getting faster. We, we talked with <laughs> several few songs. <laughs> then what I'm thinking is I'll give away three gifting Bandcamp codes that way. So three songs with the full option. So like I think right now like there's music for the people and it has a extended edit, a radio edit, and an instrumental. So like that's one. Yeah. And I'll give away three of those types of things. And you can pick the song by Dave Rogers that you want with the packaged info. I would like to hear from you guys which song you would like Dave Rogers to remake or cover next. Thank you. I want to know what they want as a remake. Okay, so that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed listening to these Dave Rogers tracks and that you'll be checking them out in the links down below. Write a comment. Tell me what songs by Dave Rogers you'd like to hear covered. Keep, Keep it classy, guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. You'll show up eventually again. Somewhat.
some way, Someone. somehow. Are you going to come back in this time? Yes. Okay. I'm getting, getting it up, up all over. over.